HIV AIDS is caused by a virus, human immunodeficiency virus. From the start of the program, antiretroviral treatment was not immediately offered to the patients once they were diagnosed with HIV. The patients who were tested positive were monitored over time based on the white blood cell counts. Depending on those counts, the decision was made when to initiate them on antiretroviral treatment. For South Sudan, from 2014-15 onwards, we moved to a program called Test and Start. We test the patient and if he or she is identified as positive to be having HIV infection, they are immediately started on antiretroviral treatment. This shift also prompted initiation of viral load testing to see whether the treatment program is effective or not. That can be measured only if the viral load in the blood of the patient is getting sufficiently reduced in count. We call that viral load suppression. They don't have to wait for several months or years for the disease to deteriorate their sickness, worsen their condition, then initiate them on NART. CDC's role is not just limited to the disease that we are involved with, but leave a long-term capacity, both systems within the country as well as human resource in the country with the right kind of capacities that would continue the work many years after CDC has left the country. To bring the country to epidemic control stage, we need to have 90% of people know their HIV status, 90% of those initiated on treatment, and those who are on treatment, 90% of those to be virally suppressed. That 90-90-90 is necessary to achieve epidemic control for HIV AIDS program in South Sudan. CDC's work matters because we use the program data and use that data to influence change in real time.